Hello YouTube, today I'm in Kerbal Space Program and Point 23 is out. So, while uh, you can see in the background I'm launching a little probe up on an SSTO with the new Rapier engine, uh, while you watch that I decided to uh, talk a little bit about what's been happening in Point 23, what's happened, and uh, you know what's what the new things are in case you don't know already. So, first of all, um, as uh, you can see there, the Rapier engine has been added. It's essentially an engine which can switch between two modes, one being a, a jet engine-like mode, and another one being a rocket engine-like mode. So, you can essentially build single-stage to orbit space planes a lot easier, which is what this thing is. Uh, basically, it has an automated detection mode. You can also do it manually. And when it detects that there isn't enough intake air left, it will automatically switch to rocket mode, which is when you can, uh, you know, fly like it's a normal rocket. And then it consumes oxidizer, whereas now it's only consuming liquid fuel and intake air. Anyway, uh, another part that they added was a lab module for your science projects. Essentially, that does a few things. If you've done an experiment on like a mystery goo container and you have that in you know part of the vessel then or you can dock it onto a vessel that has a lab module then you can actually yeah, gain a percentage of science from the experiment meaning that you get more science before you transmit it home which is kind of useful so it's, it's almost like um, it, it's just almost a boost in science that you get from experiments that you would normally get a little bit less from because you're transmitting them you can get just a little bit more by having a lab module somewhere so that's kind of useful the other thing it does is lets you uh, replenish experiments because now when you do an experiment and transmit it the experiment gets uh, used up the sort of goo container for example would get used up meaning that you can't use it or transmit anything from it again until it's been um, cleaned by a lab module um, and when, it, when that happens then you can actually do it again I'd recommend you go and try this kind of thing just put something on the launch pad and see what happens so you can get a good idea of how it works because it's kind of hard to describe uh, or explain but you know, that is basically the gist of it um, so basically they've made science a lot more difficult to spam or to do lots of experiments and sort of not even have to return anything ever which is kind of useful um, the, the lab modules, oh sorry, the science things that you don't need to clean are things like accelerometers and things like that which, you know, you, doesn't really make sense that you'd have to clean them, which is good. So thing, I think it's accelerometers, the negative gravioli detectors and things like that. Anyway, the other thing that they've added is a map for biomes for Minmus, which essentially means that instead of just having landing on Minmus and collecting a surface sample, you can collect surface samples and do experiments all over different parts of Minmus and get different amounts of science. And, you know, get... So, for example, if you land in the lowlands, you can do an experiment and you'll get the full experimental value from it. Then you can go to the highlands and you'll still get the full experimental um, value, essentially. Which is kind of nice, um, and I hope they add that to more places in the future. You know, example, one would be Juna, maybe add it so that uh, the poles have their own biome and the sort of ring around the middle has its own biome. That would be kind of nice, uh, something like that. And I'd, I'd like to see more planets have that sometime re reasonably soon, because I can't see it being that difficult a thing to sort out, really. Although it does have to be sort of accurate, you know, it wouldn't be that... I don't think it'd be that much work anyway, it's not that kind of thing. Anyway, uh, one of the other things that they have added is a way of looking up all the science that you've collected and seeing where you've got science from, seeing what experiments you've done, and seeing what experiments you can do to then get more science, which is really useful. That's found in the R&D building, and uh, yeah, you should definitely go check that out. Anyway, that's, uh, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope you liked it. If you did, then please give it a thumbs up and a favorite, and as always, have a nice day.